This, you know, when you, I was thinking that, you know, just a little bit of a scar. She doesn't like the first part of the page. The goal of the Face to Future Foundation is to go to a particular region where they may benefit from our assistance, and we really ask them what they need. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a floor. So, because Part of the volume is... Well, we go into medicine because we want to help people, and this is one of the best opportunities to do so. This is a remarkable group of physicians, anesthesia people, support group that come along and involved in this trip. These are people that are at the leader positions of their specialty in their country. Open as well, but we, I mean, we were able to get her open and look, but I think that's probably part of what we need. We need to be able to educate and teach and also spread that access uh, to care. I think that's the formula to reaching people that are truly in need in this country. Yes, you do implant expertise? I know directly from what I've seen today how we are actually helping not just one person, but we are teaching for this person to help many more. It's a good kind of networking and good opportunity to know each other and I'm sure we'll get to build this relation and to gain from it. One was a small pediatric patient who they brought us to evaluate for having missing ears. Um, but when we saw him, we realized he had a syndrome and the ears could wait. He needed to have a, a surgical airway to help him breathe so he would survive. Face the Future provides children around the world with the opportunity to live as normal life as all of our children have been blessed with the opportunity to do. We're now a little over five hours into a major ablative and reconstructive surgical procedure. Earlier today, Dr. Van Allen and I helped to resect this woman's necrotic or dead tissue in her face. She unfortunately had had a tumor several years ago and followed by very high dose radiation, which unfortunately managed to kill all of her tissue right down to the base of the skull. And so today, the first stage of this procedure was removing all of the dead tissue uh, so that we could prepare a field for the free flap. During the time that we were doing that, Dr. Kofi Bohene and Dr. Loyo were starting to harvest a thigh flap. Now the last two hours, uh, the flap has been being inset and the microvascular portion of the procedure being uh, carried out. And the last patient was another young child who had a very large tumor which had previously been resected and they did a good job removing the disease but they didn't have the capabilities to reconstruct. The recording? Yes. And so his eye was pointed in not the proper direction so it was a very noticeable deformity. And our ability to get his eyes in a more native position to to hopefully be able to go and play with friends and to go out on the street and people not notice him, the first thing they notice being uh, this massive facial defect, that, that's pretty special. You approach these missions sometimes thinking of them as very one-sided, like, you know, oh, this is what the patients will get from me being there. But, you know, generally it ends up, you leave realizing how much you've gotten, how much more enriched your life has been. A little help goes a long way, and it really is one person at a time, one child at a time, you are able to change a whole family. As we all know, the world is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, we're able to reach all corners of the world very quickly, and we're able to identify and connect with people in ways that we couldn't before. The future for us is to not just be in Rwanda or in Russia uh, or in uh, Guatemala, but to provide opportunities for children around the world in developing nations. And so many people complain about how it's difficult to sort of keep track of your money in philanthropic causes. I can personally vouch that I would support this organization wholeheartedly because this, for what it probably cost to put this trip together, 
is millions of dollars of care if done in the United States, millions.